Now we are going to put that into context by doing a question uh, and calculate the percentage yield of the following process. So the question says, 21.2 grams of ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide to produce urea and water. Calculate the percentage yield for this reaction if 22.8 grams of urea uh, is collected in the end. And the molar mass for ammonia is 17.031 grams per mole uh, and molar mass for urea uh, has a chemical formula of CN2OH4 and the molar mass is equal to 60.056 grams per mole. So firstly, we, we need to write out the chemical equation and balance it. It allows us to see the chemical composition of the compounds involved as well as the stoichiometry ratio between them. So you have ammonia NH3 plus carbon dioxide CO2 producing a urea CN2OH4 uh, plus water H2O. So so if you balance that, the chemical equation will become 2NH3 uh, plus CO2. Then on this side, you have CN2, OH4, and H2O. So the stoichiometry in this equation is 2111. That means you need two ammonia and one carbon dioxide to make every urea uh, and water. Now let's summarize the question. 21.2 grams of ammonia. So mass of ammonia is equal to 21.2 grams. Calculate the percentage U. So U is unknown and you calculate that by dividing the actual U by the theoretical yield. So what's missing? We don't know the theoretical yield yet. Uh, so we need to calculate that. So since you already got the uh, mass of the actual U, so the easiest way uh, to calculate this yield is to calculate the mass of the theoretical yield. Now, um, the mass of theoretical yield is equal to the number of moles um, divided by molar mass. So we know the molar mass from the question, which is 60.056 grams per mole for urea, but we don't have the theoretical number of moles of urea, so we need to calculate that. To do that though, we need to look at the stoichiometry of the chemical re equation. We see that we need two moles of ammonia to make one mole of urea. So the theoretical number of moles of urea will be half of whatever the number of moles of ammonia that we put in. So the number of moles of 21.2 grams of ammonia is equal to 1.18 moles. So the theoretical number of moles of urea will be half of that. Um, you can just chuck that into the um, calculation for the theoretical mass of the urea. All of that 35.4 grams. So this 35.4 grams is what uh, you should get if all of your ammonia reacted and went into the production of urea perfectly and also assume that you were able to uh, purify and collect all the product without missing anything which is really not realistic so the percentage yield is equal to the mass of the measured um, collected urea which is 22.8 grams divided by the theoretical mass of urea which is 35.4 grams uh, multiply that ratio by 100% uh, will give you 64% and it is a rule that you always um, round your percentage yield to the whole number so you got your percentage yield of the process which is 64%